Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to my channel. Recently Microsoft has released Dotnet 6 and as part of that they have also released new version of Visual Studio which is Visual Studio 2022 and new version of C Sharp which is C Sharp 10. So in today's video let's talk about few changes which Microsoft has done in console application project template. So let's jump onto the Visual Studio and see what those differences are. For some people it's quite confusing whether they are experienced or they are new. So I will try to conclude those differences in today's video. So let's try to create a new console application project in Visual Studio 2022. I'm clicking here to create on a new project. I'm going to select console application project template for C Sharp application. Next I will click on next. Let's say demo console is my project name. You can select your path according to your own uh, machine. Okay, next we'll come with two .NET frameworks. One is the .NET 5, which was the release candidate, and the other one is .NET 6, which is a long term support. Here we will select make sure we are selecting dotnet 6 click on create now the project has been created the hello world project and you can see it's quite different as compared to the old project templates where we used to have using statements on the top and then we used to have name spaces and classes and main method here you can see there is nothing like that so is there no entry from no entry point method for C sharp 10 is Microsoft moving away from other languages like they have always main entry method. So what's change? It's not the case. Um, we do have main method, but what Microsoft is doing, they are trying to optimize code and they are generating it implicitly. Main method and all the using statements and names namespaces. So that's the optimization in uh, Visual Studio 2022 as part of .NET 6. So that means you can only focus on the business logic instead of writing the namespaces and uh, really, uh, you know the admin work. So that's the major difference. I would let's try to run this one and see whether it behaves exactly the same. I click on this play button. Yep, it's coming. Come on. Here you can see it has executed and the output is hello world. It's exactly the same. So let's close this window and try to see some other changes which Microsoft has done as part of the project file. I will select project file and right click and try to edit project file. If you see the structure of this project file, you can see the target framework which is .NET 6 and in addition to that one I just want to focus on these two there are implicit usings and nullable so I just want to talk about a little bit more about implicit usings so if you are using .NET 6 console application project template you will see this implicit using tag in the project file that means it will optimize the uh, code generation in the back end. So when they come, you know, at compile time, it will do exactly the same thing the way we used to write a main method and then try to add logic. So now, guys, let's create a new project. I will select file, new project. Again, I will select the console application, click on next. This time, let's give the name demo console with name. Click on next. Now, this is quite important. At this stage, you need to select .NET 5 instead of .NET 6. So let's select .NET 5 and click on create. You can see guys, now I can have exactly the same template which we used to have all other previous versions of Visual Studio and .NET, C Sharp, 
right? So you can see there are usings, proper namespaces, class, and then the main method. So what's the difference between the two? Uh, the .NET 6 is trying to focus only on the body of the main, which is this part. However, if you look into the old versions, they say, okay, you have all the code available and that's, you know, uh, the old pattern. It's just kind of the abstraction or the optimization which Visual Studio is doing. They are saying, okay, we will take care of the rest of the code. You just need to focus on the business logic. But there is one problem. And the problem is we are using .NET 5, not .NET 6. Although I do have main method, but how can I move on to the .NET 6? It's quite simple. You don't need to worry at all. Again, right click on the project file. Click edit project file. And you can see here is a target framework version, which is .NET 5. You just need to change it 5, 5 to 6. Oops. .NET 6. Yeah, that's the only thing you need to do. And click on save because it's .NET 6 it, you, and we will distribute 2022. So you don't need to reload project. You just click save and close the file. Now, it is exactly the same way you are using the latest .NET 6. You are using the same way which you are used to and you have been coding for the past 20 years. You have main method, classes and all the uh, namespaces. So, I mean, you will feel comfort because that used to be the comfort zone of most of the programmer, programmer for the past 20 years. So I hope it will clarify a couple of questions. Uh, you know, uh, some people when see the console without main method, they have a question. Hey, is Microsoft moving away from it? So no, the answer is no. You still have it. It's just only an abstraction. And here you can see if you want to use the old way until you get used to. So there is an option available for you. So another thing, guys, I just want to highlight here. Uh, this is one way to use main, but there are, you know, a couple of other variations as well. But I found this one is the easiest way. So, yeah, uh, hopefully it will give you some of the understanding, some clarification. And if you like my video, please tell me in the comments. And I would request you to please click on like and subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you so much.